Do you have a gun at all? No. Oh, you should have the handgun then. Or, sh or should okay, I have the handgun? Oh, uh, just see, maybe because you're trying to protect yourself because you're scared of me. Okay. Up to you, though. No, okay with it. I'm going to... I'm going to get some damn cigarettes and a beer. You stay in this fucking place or I'll beat your ass. Okay. Mm -hmm. Treating me like shit. I'm sorry. Is this what I'm worth to you, this stupid you'd... hotel for a honeymoon? I... Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm, I bet you are. I thought you'd like this place. It's... I'm taking your wallet. It's romantic. But this is a shit hole. That's my money. <laughs> now shut the fuck up. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, Lane County Sheriff's Office, open the door, please. I'm coming. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, sir. We've uh, just had some reports of a uh, bit of yelling. I uh, just want to come check in on the situation. Mm, yeah, um, no, but I don't think it was here. I'm just here for my honeymoon with my wife. Okay, uh, well, we had reports uh, of large, large, uh, you know, potential argument. Uh, a lot of uh, loud shouting coming from room 9 in particular. Uh, I do believe that right there says 9. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Um, um we'll, we'll quiet it down. Okay, well, we just, we'd just like to have a, a quick conversation with yourself and uh, your wife, who you're here with your condom for. for. Mm. Uh, so if you don't mind just stepping outside and having a quick chat, do you mind if we head inside and, and chat with your wife? Mm, she's not in. She's, she's the big bitch over there. <laughs> okay. All right, well, then... Uh, JT over here is just gonna go chat uh, with your wife, and we're just gonna figure out what's going on. Mhm. Mm so, what uh, what kind of led to some of the increased volume in uh, in your discussion? Mm, it's our second honeymoon, and apparently she's not happy about coming here, even though this looks like a beautiful place. <laughs> well, it is a beautiful place. That uh, it's quite surprising, actually. Um, so, second honeymoon. Uh, it's a second go around, second attempt for you two. Mm, she didn't like her first honeymoon, so she wanted another one, and now apparently this isn't good enough either. Okay, all right. All right. So, uh, you know, potentially a little bit of miscommunication there on uh, what you two were looking for out of a honeymoon? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, that can be challenging to deal with, I, I do understand. Um, have you guys get in, you know, arguments often? I know, obviously, you're married, right? So it's just the way it is, the way it goes. Uh, but, you know, anything of this sort of increased volume, you know, kind of like we've, we've observed here today? Mm, sometimes. She's, she's very angry sometimes. She's very angry sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're, hey, just relax. Calm down. You know, we're not looking to make trouble. We're just checking in on everybody and making sure everybody's good to go. Right? If, if everything's... You know, tick tickety boo. Then uh, we're just gonna keep on going, and everybody's gonna have a good day, right? And uh, we know arguments happen. It's not a big deal. We just want to make sure that everybody's welfare is, uh, you know, is taken care of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. You uh, you up to a lot of sports these days? Any physical activity? No, I just I just work. You work? What do you do for work? I just if you work, don't mind. I just work at the junkyard. Down okay, the city. Okay, right on. What, uh, at the city? What, what do you do at the junkyard? Um, you know, just scrap metal and stuff like that. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I gotcha. I, I think, you know, dealing with that sort of stuff, you get, uh, a little banged up, maybe a little scratched. Is that, is that how you got the, the bruises there on your arms? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, okay. All right. And and what about there on your face? I, I wouldn't expect that. Uh, oh, I fell into you might a door. I'm, get I'm, hit by things. I, I'm very clumsy. You're very clumsy. Okay. All right. It's uh, it's interesting that an individual who generally is uh, of of a trades background, works with their hands, is 
defining themselves as clumsy. I, I usually find the sorts of individuals such as yourself that are a little bit more physically active in their day-to-day -day lives are generally, you know, quite uh, well coordinated. Uh, I got up really early the other morning and I fell right into the door. Yeah, not a morning person, eh? I can relate. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, just uh, sit tight here. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we're just going to chat with my partner over here. And uh, we'll get you guys on your way there. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I think she might be going to jail. No, they don't have anything on her, unfortunately. Now, guys, as much as I'm laughing and me and Stars are enjoying this scene, this is a very serious topic in real life as well. So, if you know anyone going through domestic violence or something like that, or you've witnessed it, or you're going through it yourself, always try and seek help or try and talk to somebody. You know, you're not alone. This kind of behaviour isn't acceptable in real life. Always keep that in mind. But we are going to go back inside. We're going to go back inside and we're just going to sit here. Again. Might even talk to Styles for a quick thing. What are they saying to you? Uh, nothing so far. Mm. He's, I said that I have bruises on my arm, like old ones and an old <laughs> bruise around my face. And he's like, oh, what do you do for work? I was like, oh, I work at a junk yard and stuff. And he's like, oh, I understand mm. the bruise there. And he's like, what about that bruise around your Fine. I was like, oh, I just, cl I'm just clumsy. I fell into a door. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're talking. All right, guys. We'll see what they have to say to us next. Can I help you? <laughs> I just came in. <laughs> Sir, are you in the, the physical state to converse with me? Yeah. Alright, I guess I uh, just wasn't speaking quite loud enough there for you to hear me. I'm just watching good. some sports. Oh, what sports you got on? Mm, the football before she comes in and turns it off and probably watches some cooking show. She can't cook. Yeah, it's relatable. <laughs> well, always looking to improve, I suppose. Um, <laughs> listen, we're not going to hold you. We're not going to keep you, you guys very very long. Um, just wanted to catch your name for the record, just so we have it on file. Uh, it's It's Jake Wells. And that's my pickup out there. Jake Wells, all right. Mm, and you said you're the registered owner of that pickup? Yeah, not that I really get to drive it. All right, well, that's all good. Uh, <laughs> listen, um, I'm going to try and pull up a uh, business card here. You can come in if you want. You don't have to sit on that door. I think they need a bit of oil or grease on that door hinge, jeez. Alright, there you go, sir. Uh, that's my business card. If you have any other issues, anything else is going on, you get a moment of privacy, just go ahead and give me a call. And uh, we can address that uh, either down at the station or wherever it is that uh, you might be able to, to get yourself in chat. Um, if there's nothing else that we can do for you at this time, we're going to let you go. Um, if we do get another call about this, we are going to have to issue a noise violation complaint. You know, it, just with respect to the call, uh, it's it's just going to be a warning, but it's just it's going to be something a little bit more formalized as to our discussion here today. All right. Okay. Have a good one. One last question for you: Just do you have a CCW? Any weapons uh, on your person or in your truck? Mm, I have a handgun in the truck in a lockbox. It's in a lockbox in the truck? All right. Well, just do me a favor. I know things can get very emotional, very uh, heated very quickly between folks that are having you know, a discussion or an argument or are displeased with the discourse of things. Just keep the handgun in the, in the truck, right? Just keep it locked up. I know, you know, nothing bad. You don't want anything bad to happen. Your wife doesn't want anything bad to happen. Um, we certainly don't. So just keep it where it is, and then it's all, it's all safe, and it's taken care of that way, right? All right, thanks. Is she going to jail? All right, I appreciate you. <laughs> no, she's not going to jail. Is there any reason in particular she should be going to jail? No, she just she's been gone a long time. <laughs> okay, well we've just had her over the the truck. We've just been chatting. That's all. 
we just want to make sure everybody's you know oh, shit, presenting it's... the way things are. And... It's eleven thirty. I gotta cook a. I gotta cook a lunch. Have a good one. All right, you have a good one. I appreciate you. Have have a good day. <laughs> we'll start cooking. We'll say he said that business card on the seat there. That's what we'll go with. We'll peek out the door. She's over there, the bitch. Alright, we'll wait for Styles to come over here as Jenna Wells and we'll see how this goes. Probably not well, we'll probably get a smack again. Hey honey, come here. Come here a minute, sweetie. What? I cooked you I cooked you lunch. Lunch is lunch is cooking. Did you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't tell him nothing. Oh you didn't? Oh It's in here, you piece of shit. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You I... got the cops involved? No, I didn't. It wasn't me that called. You got him. the damn cops it involved. It wasn't me. I'm a whoop your ass. Oh, Jesus. God. You ever do something like that again? It wasn't I'm a murder. You're gonna get the cops called again. Is that what you want? Oh, shut up and keep quiet. Get me a sandwich. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Fucking time. I need a real man. Here you go, sweetie. The fuck did you just... <laughs> come here. You come here. Don't. No. Come here, you little bitch. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's a oh. you fucking get the backhand. Dropping my fucking food. You trying to poison me? <laughs> trying to poison me, boy? <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Damn, I go hide in that damn bathroom. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta call another one again. Oof. You shame if they came and found a dead body. <laughs> well, actually, he warned me about the gun. Probably should stay in the truck in case the conversation gets too heated. Oof. If you want to shoot me, you can. No, I think that'd be a Play really like cool one later on in the future. Like, really down later on in the future. I think that'd be a good one to what? do. I think we just get him called one more time, and then I think that'll do, to be quite honest. They might arrest me. No, I just won't. I just... Because it has to be me that complains at the end of the day. And then the spouse yeah, will probably do true. some shit like that. They're just going to give us a noise complaint. Yeah, that's what he said to me. I'm going to call another one again. Um... I'm, I'm gonna pretend I'm locked in the bathroom. If they ask where I am, just say he's busy or something. Cooking, um, yeah. cooking in yeah. the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you doing in the damn bathroom? I'm I'm washing my hands. Mm-hmm. After dropping my food. I'm gonna say I have another black eye, or you know what appears to be some like a, a bruise appearing on an eye. I'm just gonna say that I was clumsy again and ran into the wall or something. Good. Are they talking to you? Whoa. What? Toon just knocked on his desk and it sounded like someone actually knocking. Oh it's yeah, no, creepy. he did that earlier too. It's cool. Yeah. I can't hear them. Hang on, let me. I might have to go shout. Hold on. What do you want? What's happening? Hello. Uh, well, well, ma'am. Yeah, uh, this is Officer Riggs again, and my partner JT. Uh, we had another report of uh, glass breaking. Just loud noises, volume, right? Glass break. Well, what volume. Now? We had a noise complaint. Yeah. So I'm gonna have oh. to ask you to come outside. We're gonna chat again. Obviously, our last uh, discussion didn't leave much of an impression on you. So please open the door. Come outside. We're gonna have a chat.
I think these neighbors are sabotaging us because we were quiet. It's just <laughs> my husband dropped a plate. That's all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, come on outside and we'll chat about it. We'll go mainly. Thank you. Why don't you just please follow my partner, JT, just back to the truck and he'll chat with you again. These neighbors hate me. That's why I didn't want to. I don't uh, want we'll, to we'll go women though. It doesn't matter. Same thing. Not really. Bad grammar, but we'll go with it. I can't hear them. Let's see if we can hear them from here. Nope. I think they legitimately went far away. That's very unfortunate. All right. We'll hide. We'll just hide in the bathroom until someone maybe comes here to try and talk to me. Oh god, here he comes. Jakey inside there? Yep, yep, just a minute. Alright. I, I need need you to come outside now. Yep, I'm I'm coming. Do I do I really have to come out here? Oh god. Yeah, this... yeah, you do. What's what's the issue? All right, just let's just come stand in front of your truck here. Miss Mr. Wells? Yeah. So yeah. we had another noise complaint. <laughs> so Obviously, we had to come back because our first chat didn't leave. Lake County Sheriff's impression. Office, if you're inside, make yourself known. Um, and I'm also concerned about what appears Lake to be. Lake County Sheriff's Office, office. <laughs> if you're inside, come out, make yourself oh, known. I just um, I just crashed into the wall in there. Okay. So, is that what caused the noise? Uh, she wasn't happy with the dinner, and I, she. She dropped the, well, I can't remember. I think we may have both dropped the plate and it broke and she was yelling. And that's, and, I, and then I just crashed into the wall you. accidentally when I turned around. Right. <laughs> Didn't have any help no, getting into the wall? No, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm, I'm, cl I'm cl clumsy. All right. So I'm, I'm going to give it to you straight here, Jake. Um, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe your story. Um, and that's, that's not to discredit you, uh, so much as your situation here. Um, I, I still, I still, I understand. The, I ran into the wall. That's, that's what happened. Yeah, I'll, all right. <laughs> I understand that it could be a difficult situation to find yourself in when you may be the victim of domestic violence. I'm, I'm not the, there's as no, no victim here, male, I'm a man. As a man. I'm a man, I'm not a victim. Yeah, you know, I understand, no, I, I understand, I understand. You, you don't want to be seen as weak or lesser i'm not um, weak and you might might have no you're not you're not at all and you may have difficulty with thinking you know folks aren't going to believe you they're going to think you're lying or that you're just trying to make make your wife out to be some sort of shrew um and i understand the difficult situation you may find yourself in and you're not weak you're quite correct right you're not uh you know little or incapable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. This relationship. But you may is feel my wife you may loves still... me, and I love her, and it's it's all good. Okay. I'm just clumsy. Jake, I know what's going on, right? I know your wife's hitting you, <laughs> right? So just tell me what's going on, and what we can do to help, right? Because we're here to help you, and to make sure that you're safe. Doesn't matter who it is that's doing the hitting. Doesn't matter why, right? That's not okay. That's not acceptable. Right? Your wife can't be doing that to you. She, she if you were doing it to your wife, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Jake, man, you gotta help yourself here. You gotta help me help you, right? I, she's my wife. I can't. We, it was just a, I ran into the wall. I'm I, just clumsy. All right. All right. Let me put it this way: if you tell us what's going on, if you tell us what's going on, right, we can talk about it. We can potentially get you some help. You don't have to play. You know place charges. Your wife doesn't have to be under arrest. She doesn't have to go to jail. Right? But it can allow us to get you the resources that you may need to get out of this situation. 
she, or to improve things. She didn't do. She didn't do anything. You can't take her to jail. She's my wife, and I love her. We're not. We're not gonna. Ch I understand that, and I can understand why that would make you not want to say anything. That may, from your perspective, bring harm or detriment to your wife. That's that shows a lot of character, Jake. It really does. It says a lot about you as as a man, as a husband, right? <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, you got to do the right thing because your wife has to do the right thing. Job. And if your wife isn't doing the right thing, you got to let us know. I can I can handle it. It's a it's a it's a you know tough relationship. It's not a question of handling it. it, Jake. It's not a question of handling it, and there's no question that you can't handle it. But the issue is, and and. You know, believe me, I've seen it a dozen times before. Um, the the husband or the wife, or the girlfriend or the boyfriend, or the the son or the daughter, they can handle it and they handle it just fine. And it goes on and it goes on and it goes on and it, it either stays the same or escalates or changes. And then one day they can't, and that's the most tragic incident of all because then the individual that was trying to tough it out for the betterment of the relationship whatever that relationship happens to be is the one that ultimately suffers right and they're the ones that end up taking a action that cannot be reversed well i mean yeah right. well that won't happen to and, us because there's nothing that's... going on hey man look the worst that's going to happen is she's going to take a ride to jail she'll be out in a few hours and it might scare her straight it'll never happen again she she didn't she didn't do anything. We love each other. I mean, you you can love somebody and still try to scare them straight on something, man. I I ran into the wall. That's that's what happened. I mean, Jake, I'm gonna I'm just gonna be real with you. You know, uh, the way that I've seen these situations go, the next time that we come back. You know, it might not be today, might might not be tomorrow, right? It might not even be us responding to the call because you've gone back home, back into the city, and it's LSPD that gets to deal with the situation. But they're going to roll up. It's going to be another noise, you know, noise complaint. And the officers are going to come to the door. They're going to knock. Your wife might answer. She might not. If she doesn't answer, well, it's a potential uh, wellness check, right? So... The officers are, aren't really going to have much option but beat down the door. They're going to come inside and they're going to find your body. Because it escalated to that point because it wasn't dealt with today. And I don't want that to happen to you. you see, you're see, you a good man. There's, there's, there's nothing to right? deal with. I'm sorry that you guys had to come out here and, and waste waste your time. It's not a waste of our time. right? No, No call is ever a waste of our time when it's in pursuit of the safety of the public right and when it allows us to have these sorts of discourse with individuals like yourself who find themselves in situations that they can't otherwise get out of right? hey man, don't again, worry about her just pay a, attention to us it's here. a difficult it's a difficult situation to be in right there's a lot of uh, a lot of social pressures social anxiety about uh, where you're finding yourself right now so that's really why we're here that's why we came back that's why we're talking to you the way that we're talking to you, right? Mm, I really, it's, it's I not, really need to get inside and clean up and put some ice on my eye from hitting the wall. Am I, am I free to go? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to press any charges on the, on the wall. Oh, you got a, you got a little marker on your eye. That, that was from hitting the wall there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Well, just. Want, go back inside if you need to clean up. I understand, right? You know, um, we can only help you as much as you're going to help us. So, I, and I, that's, I, I, that's I, kind I, of the end of that. I appreciate it, but there's nothing going on. I love my wife. The, is this place got a fridge? Not really. We'll just have to up here. It does. We'll just go with an ice cube or something. There we go. Mm, they want you, Julie. Ooh.
Because they do want me. Mm-hmm. I kept saying that I ran in the wall, but they, they do not believe me at all. <laughs> Did you tell them that it was me? No. Oh, okay. They they want you, though. They... I don't think they have enough proof. <laughs> that um, They honest. can't really arrest you unless I w- I'm willing no. to cooperate it, unfortunately. Yep. I just said I have red on my knuckles, but that's about it. Were they knocking at your door? Again? I don't want to talk to them. I'm just going to do the real down beaten husband wife thing where I just run yeah. in the bathroom and hide and don't want to talk. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to turn on the sport channel. Mr. Wells, please come to the door. What do you want? Hey, Mr. Wells, just hop outside here for a second. I, I, my wife didn't hit me. I'm not pressing charges on, on nobody. She didn't do nothing. All right, man. So I looked at her hands. Her hands are red. You, you got to be real with me at some point here. Like, she I understand you're trying to... You're, Okay, and her knuckles got red from that? Maybe, yeah, maybe. And I'm, I'm not out here to, to throw people in jail, but I'd like to help a situation get itself sorted before it turns into anything bigger. Your 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 wife might might get herself straight here if, if you are willing to press charges against her, man. She, she didn't And I, if you two do love each other, I'm sure you'll still be together. Uh, chassis witnesses determine determine details here. No, I, I crashed into the wall, deputy, and I'm sorry. It was all my it's all my fault, and I, I just wanted to talk to my wife and just go home. Okay, man. So, so what I'm gonna need to happen here is I'm gonna need you to just go stand by the front of my truck there. Don't go back in the room. Uh, we're gonna talk to some witnesses here, and we're we're gonna figure out what really happened. If you, if you change your mind, just yell for me, and I'll come over and retake your okay. statement. All right? Mm-hmm. Oh, then we have to sit here. Since you've got that CCW in there as well, please do not go into your truck. Good old Styles. I love him. Is she in cuffs? She's in cuffs. Oh, that's horrible. <clears throat> this is a nice truck. I love this Silverado. All right, Miss Wells. So my partner, Deputy Riggs, is over there talking to the 911 caller. Now, are you sure there's nothing you want to tell me about, ma'am? Well, what else is there to talk about? I mean, these neighbors are just jealous of me because I am a real woman. So, and ma'am, I'm, I'm going to be real police. with you here for a second. I'm going to be real with you, okay? What's that? You've got reddening on your knuckles. Your husband's eye condition. is red. Okay, ma'am. His eyes what um, now? So, the magical thing about the knuckles is it's some of the hardest skin on the human body, right? Save for mm-hmm. the, the bottoms of your feet. Uh, most skin conditions won't touch knuckles. Same thing with like things like poison ivy. So, the only way you can really scuff your knuckles doctor? up is by striking you something. A no, ma'am, I'm, I'm just a little knowledgeable on, uh, oh, okay. on physical actions on other human beings. Physical actions? Like so what makes them I'm, I'm giving... I'm giving you a chance to come straight here, all right? At most, if you admit to what I think you did, you're just going to spend a couple hours in jail. You'll probably be bonded out, and then you'll have to seek out a court date from there. So I I'm going to give you a chance to come straight here because we might find out otherwise from Not the witness, yet. and you might end up coming anyway. It's going to go a whole lot easier for you if you just come straight. I'm sorry, but I let her have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, man. Just hang out here for a minute. <clears throat> Okay.
All right, Mr. Wells. Uh, we already talked about So, you don't want to press charges or anything. Um, I, I mean, that's pretty much all we got here. We're, we're going to undetain your wife here, and then you guys are free to go about your days. Um, I am giving you a verbal warning for the noise complaint, though. If we have to come back here, that's going to result in a citation. For, for what? We didn't do nothing. I mean, I've, at this point, sir, like, we've had, we've had two 911 calls. We've had to respond twice. At this point, it's just what we have to do. Okay, I just want my wife to come home. Okay, sir. Uh, just please don't go back in your room until we head out of here. I just don't want you going in, anything, in there and grabbing anything. Uh, just hang out here. We're going to release your wife, and then you guys will be free to go on about your business. Okay. <laughs> Alright, ma'am, you are free to go. Uh, I'm going to tell you the same thing okay, I told your, your husband here. I'm, this is your verbal warning for the noise complaint. This is now the second time we've had to respond to it. Uh, if we have to come back here a third time, that's going to result in a citation for the both of you. So please try to keep it down. Please try not to annoy your neighbors. You should give them a ticket for fake 911 calls. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, we, we can't prove that, man. So just, you're, you're free to go on about your day, return to your room. You guys got some broken plate to clean up in there. I saw it on the floor there. So try not to cut yourselves. Have a safe and productive day. Mm -hmm. You too. I'll try not to cut something. <laughs> I'm trying to cut. Let's go. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm coming. <laughs> Better be. <laughs> I'm trying to cut something. Good. Oh my goodness. That's so good. Oh, they were trying to get me to press charges. They were really trying. I like, know. Props they're to really them. Wanted. They were doing really well. Yeah, they were. They were kind of beating the dead horse, but they did well. <laughs> they did well, actually. Uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this one, though. But um, just remember that this this is a really, really serious topic, as much as this was comical. But in real life, this is a very serious topic. And anyone going through this doesn't deserve to, and, you know, try and help them. And if you're going through it yourself, then try and talk to somebody about it. And for, like, the scenario we did where the wife is actually the aggressor the male often feels emasculated and you know it feels like he can't get help and stuff like that because he's a man obviously so um that's not the case no one should be going through this whether you're a man or a woman so always keep that in mind and seek help if you need to but that's going to do it for this one guys and i'll see you in the next one